I played Escalation Vanilla as a solo for 24 hours and this is what happened. PvP, raiding, grinding, base defense and so much more. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 200 likes. Also subscribe to not miss any future videos, each one helps the channel grow its on. In the last video I announced the Mythic L giveaway and this is the winner. To claim your prize, please join my Discord which is discord.gg slash ldg and contact me over there. Today we're going to run another one which is a glitched diving helmet. To win this make sure that you have liked, subscribed and comment something below. Channel members also have a higher chance of winning and there is also a 10 mythical giveaway happening, the link will be in the description below. You guys want to start your own unturned escalation survey, either for your network or you just want to play with your friends, look no further than Pine Hosting. Pine Hosting makes setting up your server quite easily, they have very good performance servers and they are a very user friendly interface that is super easy to learn. When I first started into server hosting my own network, I literally had no idea how to do anything, but with Pine Hosting's navigation, I learned it quite quickly. With several locations scattered across the globe, the pricing was also very cheap. They also have a variety of games where you can buy servers including Rust, Ark and Minecraft. A standout feature is the ability to install plugins and mods just by clicking once. Or they have a server with another provider, no worries, they'll provide personalized assistance to help you migrate your server. If you're ready to start your own unturned servers, don't miss the link in the description below and make sure to use the code LDG for an incredible 30% discount and let's get straight into the video. Right, hey guys. So I've been looting around a little bit. I got myself some basic items. Mainly got a gun. Nothing too crazy though. I barely have any storage. But I'm going to go to the base location. Now in this video I want to survive on this map for 24 hours completely as a solo. And I do have some plans. First things first, we're gonna build between Red Grove and Cram Crystal. Because I do have a plan of how I'm going to get all of the high tier loot that I need. Over there is a dead zone and it is very easy to go in and go out. Pretty sure with a filter you can actually go in and out three times if you do it correctly. But yes, in this video I do want to survive for 24 hours completely alone. I do have some tasks to do. First things first, I want to build a base. I want to do dead zone runs as much as possible. I want to do a base raid and I also want to do some quests. Now this server is a playtesting server meaning that there's only a few people that can play here. The server is here before the map is even released but basically there is one rule in the server and that rule is that we cannot offline raid so if i'm going to do any base raids they're gonna have to be online same place if they're going to try to raid me they have to do it online or else it's against the rules for the server yeah i'm gonna just gonna try to get myself hopefully some clothes from here that's really all i want man i have to shoot the zombie down i started quite early so there's not gonna be a lot of people on, but if we're just gonna play for 24 hours, then there definitely will be PvP and all of that stuff later on. But right now, it's not really what I'm worried about. What I'm worried about is actually getting myself a base down. I did get a jackhammer and a chainsaw very early, so I'm kind of lucky with that. I'm gonna get myself a bedroll, and we can go start building a base really quickly. Let's get ourselves some nice decorations. But yeah, for this base, I actually do want to have myself as much items in there. I want to try to get myself a blast forge, a claim generator toolbox obviously we gotta get all of the essentials items and i will try to get myself a full loot room that's full metal i'm gonna try to build a whole fort in this video i, I don't know how it will do though but i have barely any surge man that's gonna be a bit of a problem i'm gonna have to drop these for now i actually do need those gun parts though that's really good for for metal all right let's just get to our base location in the meantime we'll chop down some trees maybe we can stack them I need to get myself a generator and a gauze can as well. That's actually really good. I will try to make myself a sentry. The reason for that is since we're gonna build next to the dead zone, there's probably gonna be people passing by. And if they literally just die to a sentry, then that's gonna be very easy loot for me. It's kind of scummy to do that, I know, but I'm gonna try to get as much loot as possible from this, basically. Obviously, I'm not gonna place it right next to the dead zone. I'm just gonna place it next to my base. I do have an idea of how to build the base. I could do an extended platform, and on that platform, I'll place the sentry. Alright, so for now I just made myself a crate so I can put all of this junk in there. So I have a bit of storage, man, because I didn't get a backpack or a vest and it's just I have like fishing clothes. And that's really bad. But yeah, this is the base location I am going to build. We're between Red Grove Airfield and the Dead Zone. A very OP location. There's probably gonna be people at Red Grove Airfield as well. And it seems like there's nobody building around, which is good. Now, the server has been on for, for about two days, it wiped two days ago, and there were people, a lot of people playing here, especially later on during the day, there will be much more people on, so I'm pretty sure that they're gonna have bases around. Alright, 
Alright, this is gonna be a good spot, I'm pretty sure. Got myself 40 logs. Pretty nice. I'm gonna make myself a 2x1 starting off instantly. Now on this map you don't require pillars, which I absolutely love. I think this is the second map to have that feature. I think we're gonna have to farm- Oh wait! Oh, we can't even build there, man. Oh, uh, it's blocked. Okay, well that sucks. I'm gonna have to salvage this part and just place it somewhere else. Yeah, we're too close to the border of the dead zone, basically. But that's exactly how I want it. I don't want it to be too far. So that whenever I'm doing dead zone runs, I don't have to worry about having a long way home. And if I hear people in dead zone, I'll try to counter them. That's kind of the whole tactic that I'm going to be doing. But yeah, I'm gonna have to get more logs, man. I think this just one tree will be enough for me to finish the walls. I still need to get enough for roofs, though. Yeah, but I do have a plan of making the base three or four floors. The loot will be distributed in each floor, so if we get online raided, it won't be that easy to get just to all of my loot. I wonder if people would actually try to online raid me. I gotta be careful that I don't get too close to the dead zone, because that will kind of kill me as well. I can also do naked runs in the dead zone. Literally, I go in with no gas mask and no filters, just meds. Make myself a few dressings and just keep repeating until the loot gets closer and closer each time to my base. But I don't think I'll be able to do that, to be honest, because it takes a long time to do it. I would rather just get a gas mask and just go in the dead zone a few times. Man, now I think I have enough wood. Let's just chop down serves another tree for extra storage. And I should have more than enough now. Right, let's run back to base. Should probably salvage that wall. So I could make this part just another floor. And it'll be a 2 by one and then a 1 by one at the side. I think it'll look cool. But for now, let's just do it like this. There we go. We just gotta salvage that wall. But we'll leave it there for now. It's no biggie. Just put the floor. I don't think I have any more. But we do have a little bit more. Yeah, we're out. Well, then might as well just actually finish it then. Give ourselves a 2 by one with a 1 by one at the side for airlock. I think we have enough now. Let's just run back. Now, I do know that this dead zone is actually much better. Yeah, we got ourselves a reinforced doorway. At some point, I'm gonna have to upgrade every single build build to reinforce. Keeping it wood is not a good idea. We're gonna get ourselves all of the loot from out here now. But yeah, this dead zone that I'm building next, there is a reason why I'm building next to this, this dead zone and not the other one. This dead zone contains some really good loot. First of all, the Mega Zombie spawns here. Secondly, the Valkyrie and the HMG does spawn here too. Those things are very, very important. Let's put the crate right over there. We could put the generator too. Save ourselves some storage. And we gotta do a door. We could fill up this generator too, because I did fill it up. But we're kind of just wasting it at this point. Alright, so with this we can just salvage them. Give us springs and metal, and we can just do a door. We're gonna need an ingot to actually do ourselves a metal door. For an ingot, I just need some more scrap. So we could just salvage one of the springs, turn it into an ingot, and we got ourselves a metal door. There we go. Alright, and the base is now sealed. Good. So now we can start doing some runs. I'm gonna try to focus on getting as much items for adhesive compounds. First things first we're gonna focus on is obviously getting a gas mask for the dead zone. That's really the most important thing. Keep ourselves a secondary gun. Don't wanna go at all of the guns out there just in case I die. We could salvage that as well and get ourselves a bunch of scrap and electronics. Can make ourselves an ingot from this. And we can already upgrade a base part. Start off with this wall. We gotta salvage it. And we'll just upgrade it. There we go. Lovely. So I finally got a backpack as well, so now we can actually get ourselves some more storage. Now I'm gonna literally just pick every single item up. We'll salvage them, they'll be used for for metal or cloth or whatever. But yeah, my route for now is I'm gonna first loot Red Grove Airfield, and then we'll go to uh, TKR Industrial over there. We'll try to get as much construction items as possible. I ran into barbed wire. Thankfully, they don't really give a lot of damage. And then after that, we'll probably just hit up Parkwood. Get ourselves another pistol. I think that would be a, a very good route to try to get as much loot as possible. Right now, I'm not gonna focus on finding people for PvP. We'll do that later on when we get ourselves all of the necessary items that I need. Right now, I'm just gonna focus on getting items to do dead zone runs as much as possible. So since I farm metal, I'm actually gonna run back to base. We can make ourselves a locker. Something interesting is that we are in this early and we can already make a Poseidon, which is a, a low tier rocket launcher, which is actually kind of okay. But all we needed was nitroglycerin and an impact grenade for it. That is literally all you need. It's 
kind of hilarious. We got nitroglycerin here and there we go. We got already got raiding gear. Pretty sure if we get like three of these, we can raid the wooden base. Doesn't really give that much damage though. It's very good for vehicles basically. But 30 minutes in the server and already got a Poseidon. Let's put everything in here. The locker. And we'll go on our way. We can make ourselves a dressing. So yeah, put the jackhammer back. And let's go back out for our second run. Alright, so I'm over at TKR getting myself some good items. First things first, we got Canteen, which is good for the Gauss Musk Filter. Got some few items for Adhesive Compounds as well. It's looking pretty good. We're actually getting quite lucky with the loot. Got ourselves a stack of ingots as well, which is very nice for base parts. And as soon as we're done looting here, we'll run straight back to base because I don't really want to lose this loot. There's another gun. Oh, we got a... Oh, duct tape as well, that's huge. I think the only thing we need is just chemicals for us to do adhesive compounds. And we could literally do a gauss mask after we get that. You know, we got glue, pliers. I think we looted the main area from here. Let's salvage the shovel. Getting a lot of metal. It's very nice. Alright, so since it's gonna get dark, I do have a plan of going to the safe zone and just getting myself as much quest early on. But, got myself pretty good loot from this last run. I think it just stopped raining too, so that's really nice. Alright, let's move this over here. Here we get better light now. Let's put the extra guns here. And yeah, we'll do all of the metal ingot upgrades later. Right now, let's just focus on progressing. Hey, we already filled up most of our storage. But yeah, next we're going to go to the safe zone. Probably just spend the whole night there. Try to do some fishing. There's something I want to do today. Because from fishing, you can get some really good items. And this raccoon is just running away. <laughs> Come back here. There we go. Alright, so actually sea base is on the island. Doesn't look too big. Yeah, it's kind of a small base. Alright. We gotta be careful when we're passing through here if we're going to the safe zone. Alright, just stole their crops. But yeah, I'm gonna do a trade in the safe zone too, actually. We're gonna do a trade. Alright, so in the safe zone. Hello there. Oh, he's giving me gun cases. What? Yo. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we get. Oh, we got a... Alright, a sniper. That's pretty good. Alright, that's for the pistol. What? Okay, we got a bicey from it. I don't understand how a bicey is in a pistol case. I think you get these basically just from fishing, so it's actually quite interesting. Alright, so I claimed some of my quests. He actually gave me some stuff, so a huge shout out to him. It's gonna make my life 10 times easier, but I did claim a lot of the quests, which is why I went there in the first place. He also gave me those two guns. I am stuck. But yeah, we're gonna run back to base. And now I think I actually do have everything. Oh yeah, we spawned all the way over at Artemis platform. Gotta go all the way back. But he gave me some duct tape, some stuff to craft, basically. Which is exactly what I need, so huge shout out to him, man. Alright, so we're over at walk-in. I walked all the way here for one reason only. And that is because over here is an LDG poster. I'm just gonna hit that, and we got it. And we're gonna put that in our lovely base. We're gonna take as much of these as possible. Make our base look ten times better, man. Even the carpets, they look good, bro. Take this toe. I think it's gonna get day soon as well. I'm server for around like almost two hours now. We're doing quite well, man. We're doing quite well. Oh, there's a base here, and I think they actually got raided already. Yeah. Any scraps? Yeah, I don't think there's there's literally nothing. We just put our cosmetics there. Check out the second row, maybe there's Yeah, there's nothing. Alright. It's crazy to see people already getting online raided, man. Alright, we have made it back in base, and it is our second day. In game, obviously. We got ourselves some, <laughs> a lot of posters. I'm just gonna place this outside. So they know it's my base. I don't know where to put it though, because it's kind of too long. But over there, yeah, it looks alright. When I rebuilt the uh, second floor, it look better. Put this carpet right over here. I absolutely love this, man. Base decorations were very needed in Unturned. And this map delivered very well. We're gonna have to make more storage, man. I barely have any. Obviously, when we have a larger base, I'll spread these all around. But for now, this one by one is going to be well decorated with paintings, man. And I love that they're all references to actually on train. Like, most of them are just maps or just random characters. I can't place... Oh, there we go. I don't even know what that poster is, to be honest. You could put this weapon case here, so... Oh, yeah, it's kind of incredible. You can get those kind of items, guns, and storage from fishing, man. I really like that. But now we can actually do the Gauss Mask Filter, we could do Adhesive Compounds, and very soon, it is time for our first Dead Zone run. So let me quickly get everything that I need. There we go, we got glue, we got Adhesive Compounds. We're gonna have to make a lot of those, too. And we just need some fabric. Get ourselves a filament spool, too, so that's very nice. But yeah, we just need to get some fabric, I don't have any more, so I'll just go down. Actually, we do, never mind. 
There we go. We got a Gauss Musk Filt, say. No, we need this a Gauss. Yeah, we still gotta get more fabric. So I'll just go down to Red Grove Airfield, and from there, I should get more than enough. Let's place all of these little paintings. We get ourselves a seed because we need a quest for strawberries. So we might as well just start farming. Alright, so I should have gotten enough fabric. I also got glue, bro. Zombies here drop glue. I did not know that. Well, that's perfect. But I'm very excited. We're gonna go do our first dead zone run. We haven't been on the server for too long. And I did do other stuff than just focusing on getting the dead zone. But now I got everything. I think I have literally enough to make another filter so but for now i'm just gonna go with the one filter because in this dead zone you don't really really need a lot to do it we right, got enough plastic and we got the gauss mask and it is time to go do our dead zone run i'm really really scared that i don't actually have enough ammo though i don't know how much zombies spawn in there all right here we go first dead zone run i am terrified <laughs> i have no idea why honestly are there no zombies bro what oh there are Oh my god, okay, th okay, there's actually too much. I did not think there's gonna be this much. I think over here is safe. What? Bro, the shots aren't even going through, man. I'm right, gonna kill as much as possible. I don't even see if they're dropping any loot. Oh, I fell. Oh, wait, no, stop! Bro, there's no way I died. No! We have a slight issue. Um, I think I have enough to actually go back in. I do have, I think, enough to make another gauze mask. Bro, there's no way I just lost all of that loot. Oh my god. Alright, so I actually do have enough to make the filter. I just need some plastic. Bro, I really hope the loot doesn't despawn. Shouldn't, but I really hope it doesn't, man. We gotta get some plastic, bro. I don't know if these things give plastic or whatever. They don't even... You can't even salvage them. I think I'm gonna have to run down at Red Grove and just hope to get everything that I need. Alright, so I'm back. I got everything. I got the gas mask. I'm trying to find ammo. I have literally none. This is gonna be an issue, man. We don't have... Uh, gonna put all of the ammo that I had in that dead zone run. I kinda was unprepared for a second run. We're gonna go back. I'm just gonna try to get my loot. But on the bright side, we have another gas mask, technically. So if I make it back, we'll have two gauze masks and we could do a, a lot of dead zone run. There's a gun there. Let's take that. If somebody actually showed up and took my loot and ran away with it, I would be so upset. Got an LTLM. I think loot actually respawned. Yeah, zombies are def definitely here. Yeah, I died right around this corner. Yep, alright. There's more guns. Just take my loot first. It's important as I get the second gauze mask. And yeah, I have it. Alright. I could just do the- we just- we could just continue now. And just shoot him down. Get ourselves a lot of ammo. Kill two more, let's go. Oh, there's still quite a ton back here. Let's kill him. It's certainly my first run, so I don't know exactly where to go. I just gotta have to shoot all of these zombies. And then just run around and see what- what kind of loot I'll get. Let's just use the pistol for now. I think we cleared all of them. Let's switch the clothes. I hear more zombies. Bro, these zombies... Oh, yeah, there's some stuff here. Some ammo in the mortar. We got some meds. Oh, these give us stuff. Oh, cobalt. Riot shirt. That's good. Bro, somewhere in here, there's a room where we can get the Valkyrie and the HMG components. Okay, this one gives us more storage, so let's just wear it for now. But I think we're a bit slower. There's a mortar here. Let's kill this dude. A helmet. I want here the armor, yeah. Okay, so the Valkyrie should be here. But there's HMG right here, which is important for sentry. So there we go, we got that. Yep, subot slugs, lovely. Let's get this. Alright, and I think we're done. Alright, so next one. Oh, we got high kill. Alright, that's nice. Next that zone run, we'll definitely know where to go. Yeah, let's just get out of here, man. We got some loot, though. We got a ton of good guns. HMG components is pretty good as well. And we can just go back whenever we want, technically. We still have a lot more in the gas masks, in both of them, actually. Let's put all of this stuff in here. Okay, so we salvage HMG and only gives us metal, bro. That's not really worth. But in order for us to do the sentry, we need high-tech fuses and a toolbox. So, still need a lot more for that. So, I want to do that platform I mentioned earlier. Alright, so I just found an unmarked bunker. I have no idea what this place is. It's very loud. Oh, well, we can get guns. Canteen, that's good. Yeah, just military loads. Can't break anything. We could break that. I wonder where this leads us. We're literally right under TKR Industrial. 
I wonder if you could build down here. That would be kind of loud if you just live here all the time, though. All right, we're back in base from another pretty good run. Um, from this, I kind of just farmed uh, the refined oil. They got myself some more random junk, though. Got ourselves another impact grenade, which that could be another Poseidon. But I think very soon we're going to do another uh, dead zone run. I think loot heads respawned. In the meantime, we did do a pretty good run. And I do have a lot more ammo now. So I think we're going to be ready. I think we're, I think we're ready for another one. All right, there's a mecha zombie. I'm just going to crawl down here. And I think, yeah, they can't get through, bro. No, this is perfect. I like, just shoot them from here. Yeah, they're all coming here, bro. I wonder what mega zombies drop, actually. I haven't killed one yet. Come on, man. Give me the loot. We got an airdrop grenade, so... That's huge. Bro, we got a refill. Yeah, this mega zombie is so easy to kill if you just do this. He's still not dead. Put so many ammo in him. Probably it's because I'm shooting his legs, you know? Yeah, he's dead, finally. Some more zombies here. Let's take everything. Oh, we got a battle kit. We got a tonigen as well. We got a grip, bro. Yeah, we got ourselves some pretty good loot from this. I won't complain. Yeah, if we just do that tactic all the time, we just alert zombies and just leave them there. We could do them so quickly. This is that zone runs in here. We gotta get a loud gun, go in for a sec, shoot a bullet, and they'll all come right in front of me. HMG didn't respawn yet. We got ourselves another gun though, but we have to salvage these, man. We got a lot of clothes. We don't really have a lot of meds, so let's take that subbot slug. So apparently the Valkyrie are bugged right now, so we can't even get them. Uh, the map creators are working to fix it. So probably this whole wipe, or until tomorrow, we can't get a Valkyrie, which kind of defeats the purpose why I built around here. But it's okay, we'll just stay here anyway. This airdrop grenade is sick, bro. I didn't even know. We got ourselves an EOD vest. Salvage all of these clothes. Salvage the helmets. Got a lot of components from it. Some meds. We can't do a baffle kit on one of the guns. I have no idea which we're gonna put it on. Stack these. We could put it on the Tonigen probably. Yeah, I think that one... I think this is one of my favorite guns in the new map. Looks very cool. I'll just put everything inside and then we'll throw the airdrop grenade. There's no people on right now. There's only one dude. So I don't think there's gonna be people trying to come for my airdrop basically. Alright, let's just throw this bad boy over here. I really hope we get something good from this, man. I absolutely love this feature, so... If you have a big roof, you can just put it there. And if you just do a hatch and the hole with no leather and you just put the airdrop inside the base, you could do it from inside the base. That's actually kind of cool. It doesn't really take that long to land either. Uh, yep, landed and... Oh, we got charges. Yo, we got two charges. Oh my god. We got a filter. So, bro, this was insane. We got a Gosmos filter, two acids, compact, Hermes... Bicey, that's actually really good. I love that. These two charges are insane. Alright, so now I'm probably gonna upgrade base a little bit. I gotta farm a little bit of wood. I think it's gonna get dark soon, so during the night, it's probably all I'm gonna do. Alright, so we're back with our trading buddy. Oh, he has a bunch of gifts, actually. Yeah, I gave him a circuit board. Coffee filters. Oh, a bunch of weapon cases. Yeah, that's good for storage. Oh, thank you, man. Yo, Glow! Bro, this guy is helping me so much. Thank you, man. I really, really appreciate it. So I'm just gonna finish these quests as well. Alright, this dude is ready. Let's go. I think I missed a few of the quests, actually. Yeah, he's gotta get another weapon case. I wonder what he got. Oh, he got an Armstrong, man. That sucks. Alright, so... Yeah, we're gonna finish, actually, the... Uh, he's giving me all the rods so that I can finish them and get the high-tier rod instantly. There we go. Oh, thank you, man. And I could just buy one, basically. Yeah, there we go. And we just give it back. And we could spend a few hours fishing later on. That would be sick. Costs a little bit, though. And I don't have any money on me. So later on, we'll come back with some grubby. And we'll buy a fishing rod. And we'll just fish. I want to see what you get from there. If you get literally gun crates, that's perfect. And I'm pretty sure you can get stuff for these of compounds. Circuit boards as well. But yeah, I did claim a few more quests. So we'll do those aside while we continue with our base. But it's going to get day zone. So let's just go back to base and continue with probably some more dead zone runs. 
All right, dead zone run number, I don't even know. I think it's three. Yeah, so we go here and we just shoot. You can shoot at that barrel too, actually. So even the ones that are deeper in the dead zone can get alerted, basically. And now we just spray them down, bro. This is where the tonnagen comes in handy. Let's reload. I think we cleared out the majority of them. Actually, no, there's still a lot more zombies where the explosive was. Yeah, shoot them down. Now let's go back out there. And we spray them down. Right, let's reload. I think these are the last zombies. Bro, they didn't drop anything. Oh, there's a missile. I'll take that. I'll find oil. Desert 50. Some more ammo. Let's pop this filter. Right, let's check out what these crates will give. We got a cobalt. Nothing too crazy though. There's another zombie here. Oh, not too bad. We got a Deto. Lovely. Nitroglycerin. Let's go. Some more armor. Uze. I don't even know if this... I don't know. Yeah, this one is better. The one that I had. I hear a zombie around. No idea where. All right, I think we looted everywhere, so we should get out of here. Let me go check the HMG room. Another gun. Another gun. Lovely. Taking all of the guns because if we salvage them, we can just get a lot, a lot, a lot of metal from them. Which is very nice. Oh, we got a lease pack. Finally. Bro, this thing is huge. Look at that. It's the largest backpack in this map. There's a baffle kit. Let's check out the final room and let's get out of here. Yep, another HMG. Sabot slugs. Let's take this. Let's just punch this thing out. These things are useful for the miniguns too. It's crazy. Probably try to make a minigun at some point. But it's not really that important. Alright, so I'm back in base. I actually sold the Elise back for quite a lot of uh, money. And with that I bought a... Fishing rod. And we're gonna fish. We're gonna do a lot of fishing. With the Elise pack, I also bought three chemicals. I think it's more worth than an Elise pack, in my opinion. So we're just gonna fish for a few hours. By that, I mean, uh, probably I'll get bored after 30 minutes. But I really wonder what we're gonna get. The first item we get is, yeah, probably gonna get a bunch of fish. We're gonna get a lot of cash from it, though. But it's pretty nice. And then when more people are on, I'll probably just try to find PvP now. We got a pistol crate. Oh, lovely. Let's see what gun we get. A sculpt cobalt. Alright, that looks kind of cool actually. I'll keep that. Alright, so we're done. Got a full inventory of loot. A lot of money. A few guns. Some pretty good items too. So I'm just gonna run back to base. Alright, another dead zone run. I hear a mega zombie. Alright, we gotta shoot him and let, let's just come back. I wonder if he's gonna give us any good loot this time. If we get more airdrop grenades, that would be huge. Where the hell did he go? What? I kinda lost him. Alright. Get ourselves a scope. Bro, where did he go? Let's just shoot deer. And now they'll come. Yeah, they're coming. Alright, good. And let's just take out the mega. Bro, those airdrop grenades are so OP, actually. If each mega zombie drops one, that would be so good. Let's reload. Alright, he's dead. Uh, let's wait for the spit to go out. It's mad up. Spit is gone. And we got ourselves... No air drop grenade, sadly, but a bunch of more grips. So that's pretty nice. Some guns. Grenade. Let's take another HMG. Alright, let's go. Alright, I think we're gonna get out of here now. There's a tent so there. We don't really want that. Oh, breaching hammer, finally. Alright, so this thing is useful to opening certain rooms around the map. There's one in Red Grove Airfield, so that's nice to have. Yo, there's another airdrop grenade, let's go! Let's take that bad boy. Yeah, I have a full inventory now. And yeah, these things, I've already just checked them. Right now it's time to leave. There's a baffle kit. I have no space, man. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it there, it's fine. Yeah, it's super dark right now. You see how close it is to my base, man? This is why I wanted to do this. 
My main loot area is the dead zone. We got a high-tech fuse as well, which is really good to have. Let's get ourselves a full magazine. Get ourselves the airdrop. And we're just gonna throw it here while we go put those inside. Our strawberry farm is slowly growing. All of this in here. Our airdrop landed. Let's see what we got. Okay, four LTLMs. We got a knock. Another C4 though. Nitro. Some grenades. Another detonate set. This one was really that good actually. C4 is nice, but four LTLMs? That's crazy, man. We can't even salvage them. Right, well, at least it's better than nothing, you know? The other one was so much better. And we got ourselves our first knocked, too. Alright, so for the last hour, I was basically just upgrading base. Uh, very soon, I think I'm gonna start just moving the loot around. But second floor is done, farmed a lot of wood. Uh, looking pretty good, man. It's look, starting to look pretty nice. I'm gonna try to make some shutters. Basically, I put shutters looking towards the dead zone entrance. So I could just kill people from inside my base. And my if I die, my loot wouldn't be lost, basically. Right, we got ourselves an ingot. Now, first to upgrade base parts to full metal, we just need refined oil. Get ourselves a torch. Alright, so currently there's also a bug where torches give heat. And that's not supposed to be that way. It's supposed to give only Blast Forge's heat. But yeah, this room up here will be the most secure room. I'll try to make this full metal. Then we'll upgrade around, do honeycomb. But yeah, man, we upgraded the base quite a ton. So it's starting to look pretty good too. I like how it looks. We got ourselves a shutter. We gotta make a few more shutters. Yeah, nobody can open this except me. I also finished the strawberry quest. So very soon I'll go and uh, finish that quest too. Alright, so this is where we'll put the sentry. I think it'll be a pretty good location. And this hatch above us is where I'll start throwing the airdrop grenades if we get any more. Probably will though. So now I'm just gonna start organizing base. This, this crate will just be guns, next crate will be ammo for example. This one is gonna be food and meds and that kind of stuff. Right, so I base is technically done the way that I wanted to move it around. We got firefighter top and bottoms because we need those for biohazard clothing. I'm gonna make myself some of these of compounds. But yeah, people are starting to join now as well. So we gotta be a bit more careful when we run around. Because most people are from US. And now, right now, I think it's time for them to start waking up, so we're gonna be a bit more careful now. But it shouldn't really be much of a problem, to be honest, either. 
I did get what I really needed for me to have a pretty good start. We've been on the server for around quite a long time, so, so I'm really happy with the progression that we did till now. Alright, it's time for another dead zone run. Alright, here we go. Let's just shoot. Get the zombies here. Destroy that. There's no mega zombie this time, but that's quite alright. We got ourselves a heavy barrel. I think that just makes us have better recoil. Something like that. I don't really know. Alright, as it is gone, let's see what we get. Some shells. You know, a lot of zombies are there. Anything good. Some high kill. Yeah, zombies are starting to come this way. Come on. We got ourselves another Tonijin. Beautiful. There's another HMG here. Yeah, obviously it res I don't know when this sub-bot is gonna get fixed, man. I really hope so. I really, really want that gun, man. If we get that, we would be able to get the circuit board so easily because we just salvage it. And there's another Tonijin here, bro. Let's go. An MP canteen. Some more ammo. I really wanna check out what those boxes have. I think that feature is very, very cool. There's another zombie here. Let's take him out. More ammo. And here's zombie. Yeah, there's one more here. Dead. Another grip. Let's take that. Alright, so since it is a full moon, I am actually going to just farm over here. I'm gonna farm as much items for these of compounds as possible. Let's hope I get as much, bro. These zombies are not dropping anything, man. Come on. Alright, so I'm back in base. Got myself a lot of metal from that run, so I'm really happy with it. Got some stuff for adhesive too, so... I won't complain, man. I won't complain. But we're gonna start upgrading to metal buildables over here as well. This part, I need it to be full metal. This is gonna be the main loot area, and then we'll upgrade it to a 2x1 at some point. And then this random wooden wall just upgraded to... Reinforced. So it's really not wasted either, you know? There we go. Alright boys, it is day 2 of our solo survival video. We're trying to survive for 24 hours. We've already done a huge portion yesterday, and today I want to continue. Yeah, we logged off in the dead zone. That is literally the only reason why. So that when we're in, we just log back in straight into the action. Hopefully there's a mega zombie or something. Yeah, there is actually. I really am scared that I will die actually because I don't really have that much in my filter. Yeah, there's only a few zombies left. Bunch of crawlers, they're dead. Elise back. Huge. Yeah, let's take everything. More guns. Let's wear the Elise back. Let's do this as quickly as possible. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna get out of here. Yeah, let's leave. Don't wanna risk this loot. Yeah, make sure you be raided because there's offline raid protection. And it's against the rules on the server, which I absolutely love. I don't have to worry about getting raided the first five minutes that I leave the server. And the only raids that you can do are online, so that's good. Another quest completed. Let's go. Another full moon. Another full night going to spend it over here. We got glow, we got get chemicals and tape. That's literally it. That's all I want from here, man. If we get metal, that, that's also a plus, but it's not really what I want, man. I'm kind of scared somebody's gonna show up and, and actually kill me. Because now a lot of people are joining. Alright, we're back for fishing round number two. This time I brought an Elise back and I'm not gonna leave until I get full Elise back. Alright, so we actually got all of the items that we needed from fishing for this quest. And with that, we've unlocked this room. And from this room, we can buy and sell guns. And I'm pretty sure we can do attachments as well. Yeah, bro, we can literally buy so much different guns. There, we sold that gun. We don't really want it. I don't, I don't care. Yep, attachments. We can buy H HCOGs. That's ammo. Very good quest to do, man. And this dude, we can get ourselves another quest. First things first. But we also can buy duct tape. Duct tape, circuit boards, and pliers. Obviously, duct tape is very, very important for adhesive compounds. So I absolutely love this quest. All right, let's continue fishing. All right, so I'm back from another dead zone run. Got some pretty good loot. Bunch of guns from this run, though. But we got ourselves another baffle kit. I think I'm gonna put it on the Noct, actually, yep. We got ourselves a suppressed Noct as well now. Let's reload this bad boy. We got ourselves another high-tech fuse too, so now we should have enough to do the Sentry or the turret, one of those. So that's good progression as well. Alright, so I did craft the Sentry Auto Cannon, but I still need to do the turret, and that's still got uh, still a few items to make it. I found this dude living very close to me, and I don't really want that, because he's probably gonna try to counter me at dead zones and that kind of stuff. I don't really know what's going on, though. He's chopping down trees, he's building a base. I think I'm gonna try to actually try to kill him, so that he doesn't try to counter me during 
dead zone runs or whatever or dork at me too this is very 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 close I don't know who the owner is. There's a four-man team one. The rest are all solos. It's not the four-man team, though. Those guys definitely have a large base somewhere. So I'm gonna try to kill this dude. I don't know what he's doing, though. We could try to go to TKR industry really quickly and come back, but at some point I'll try to raid them 100%. I don't want people living close to me, man. Oh, he saw me, bro. Where'd he go? I think he ran inside. Yeah, I think he ran inside. I might as well just go to TKR. I don't think he's gonna come out. Yeah, he's definitely inside. I think he's building two bases too. I really don't know. I think he's trying to build a tower base or something. I'm so confused. Bro, there's a car coming, man. Oh, one. It's a. Bro, it's the four man team. Killed one. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, this was the four man team then. I didn't really lose anything, just the gun. I didn't have anything good. I'm gonna try to go back, obviously. I'm trying to get my loot back. These guys are geared, bro. I think he told them to come kill me when he was just hiding in his base, bro. I'm gonna raid them one. he's online, obviously. He can't raid offline. First, I'm gonna try to go back. I'm gonna try to get my loot. Or maybe just kill everyone, but I doubt that. Because now they're gonna be quite aware. Let's make ourselves a bandage. Uh, that's all we really need. Oh, uh, yeah, that four-man team is gone. This dude is... I think he's inside. Just a few more loot. Uh, he's coming out. Uh, he's dead. Yeah, so we lost the one gun then. Let's just run back to base. And we'll come back later on with raiding gear. But I'm gonna do a few more dead zone runs before. Alright, so I'm also upgrading base. Little by little. To full metal. I have a feeling that Foreman team may try to raid me at some point. Alright, base raiding time. It was like an hour ago when I was out here. And I killed him and then I died. But we're back. I brought myself two charges. I don't know how much it is per wall. But just in case, I'm just gonna go all in. Dude is online in the server. I don't hear any stabs though. I really hope he's inside actually. Alright, well, C4, 1, 2. Brought the third one just in case there's lockers. Alright. But he's not even in here, man. What? Okay. Alright, well, there's some loot. I mean, I'll take it. He's probably looting somewhere, bro. Alright, it doesn't matter, though. This is my loot now. We got a lot of stuff to make. Components. Yeah, missile, guns. Alright, well, he has some stuff. I'm not gonna destroy the bed, though. Alright, well, I was really hoping he was in. He's not in. He's probably just loot. Yeah, he's literally in the server right now. Alright, I'm very confused. I'm just gonna go depot this loot and, and I don't. But double the raid. Hey, we did raid we did raid him. So hopefully he won't build here anymore. I don't know. Alright, so we're back in base. I hear shots going on. I think we're gonna go naked. I don't really wanna lose clothes or whatever. Yeah, there's somebody shooting very I think that may be at the raid. Something just bro, I think someone's getting raided right now. I don't know what that is. Let's put everything in here right now. Let's focus on the loot that we got. Yeah, so the dude that I raided, apparently he just wasn't in base when I raided him. He was looting somewhere. So kind of unlucky timing for him and kind of okay timing for me. I was really hoping he was in though. But it's still technically an online raid because he's online. Wait, my sentry killed someone, bro. Yeah, there's a loot pile right over there. Somebody died to my sentry. Let's go check out what loot there is. There's still somebody throwing grenades or something at the Red Grove. Oh, he's geared. Okay. Bro, what is... Poor guy must be kind of mad right now, actually. I gotta wear these clothes. There we go. Let's take everything. Some easy loot, man. This is the why I put the sentry out here, actually. And since this sentry is quite OP and doesn't run out of ammo, it's like the Elver one, basically. So it's very strong to have, especially in a location like this. Alright, fishing time, round number three. Somebody is shooting on that island. I don't know what is going on. Wait, what? There's somebody coming with a car, bro. Yeah, there's somebody out. Wait, this is not the four man team, right? He's dead. Like, what? Alright, he came with a gun, that's it. We should blow up the car. If kept driving around, the sentry would have killed them. Yeah, let's blow up the car. Just in case there's loot inside, you'll never know.
Let's drop everything on the floor and yeah, there was nothing. A wrench. Car jack? Okay, I did not know these actually... I don't know if that is a normal drop from gun from cars or if it's stuff that there was in the trunk. Oh, well, Sentry is doing his job. Where did he die? Oh yeah, back there. I think he's the same person. He keeps trying to come back, man. He had a pistol, two pistols, some meat. Oh, let's just take everything. There's a guy back here. Yep. Oh, he saw me. Why did he throw a knife at me? There you go, he's dead. He had a pistol only. Okay. Oh, wait, what? Oh. There was a guy right next to my door. Okay. Alright, I did not even realize, bro. There's a dude here. Yeah, it's not him, right? Yeah, definitely not. Ah, oh, man, I just lost a full dead zone run. That was a pretty good dead zone run, too, but... Oh, well, at least we still have that other gauss mask. Alright, so the breaching camera, yeah, we get into this room. I don't think there's anything crazy, actually. Yeah, there's barely anything. The baklava and a hat. And an arid poster. That That's literally it. Alright, I think we're gonna do another run. Oh, never mind. I'm just getting dork and bro. Yeah, I knew this was gonna happen at some point. <laughs> he's laughing, bro. Oh, he's gonna die to my sentry. Yeah, I have the door open, dude. Wait, did he actually just die to my sentry? Now that is hilarious, if he did. Oh yeah, he's still alive. He's just gonna... Alright, he's gonna camp me out. Alright, well... I have the perfect gun for this situation. I left it up here for a reason. I'm gonna use the sniper. I don't know what he's trying to shoot. Where the hell is he? Oh, he's back there. Alright, hit him. And he's dead. Alright, let's go. Check out what loot he had. Oh, damn, he's geared. Oh my god, bro, he has a Gauss mask. Yo, he has a Valkyrie too. Nah, that's crazy. I've been looking for this for so long. Bro, that's hilarious. That's so funny. Yo, he has so much loot. Yo, profit. Crazy profit. Yo, let's take that. Another Elise back. We have another Gauss mask too. Yo, thank you. I've been looking for the Valkyrie for so long. I have no more space. He has this much loot. Actually, I was wearing the wrong clothes. All right, let's go. Let's go back to our base. Insane loot. Yeah, he didn't even take my loot. Bro, I have literally no space. You know what? I'm just gonna get in. I could actually just move the sentry, to be honest, and put it right outside my door. So door campers won't be able to really do anything. All right, so those random shots he was doing was damaging my sentry. So this sentry now can be damaged by literally any single weapon. I'm gonna move it outside. I'm gonna move it outside of my door. I'll just put it there, man. Oh, he's outside. Liam, I was gonna be so funny. Man, I shut did. up. There we go. I got shot. I'm dead. I think he bled out. Right, let's just switch gun. I'm gonna try to jump off, perhaps. I got another mag. No, he's back behind the tree. And he's just gonna stay there then. Oh, he's back here again. Oh, he's dead. Bro, he has so many guns. Why? Alright, switch the clothes. Let's take everything. Glow. He brought a bed. I think he wanted to place it close or something.
All right, boys, and the 24 hours have technically passed. I've been playing on the server for a total of 24 hours. There was a lot of farming that I obviously did and looting. There was a lot of looting that I did that I probably won't show in the video. Actually, a lot of fishing. Love running around the map trying to figure new stuff out. And there was a lot of base building as well. But I really hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys want to see more like this in the future, let me know. I had a blast. And I think it's good content too. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.